Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a big old bag, big old bag <laughs> full of empties. I like to keep them in these bags. So I just got home from school. It's just your best day. That's why I don't look like a hobo right now. So I'm just gonna go right into the bag. <laughs> um, nothing is in order except for the candles will be last. So I have flannel. This is a hand soap, gentle foaming. Um, my mom did not really like this one. I mean, I did. It smells fine. It's really, it, it, it's really manly, and I'll tell you why. The notes are crisp autumn air, mahogany, and cedar wood. So this is a very manly scent. Packaging is, mm, uh, uh, it's coming off. And I've heard a lot of people are having that problem with their hands. So because the packaging for this collection is just coming right off. <laughs> I finished the Paris Amour shower gel. Finally, I've had this thing forever. Uh, it smells so good. I absolutely love this scent. I will always repurchase this forever. The notes are French tulips, apple blossoms, and sparkling pink champagne with sandalwood and a creamy musk. So, this is a very great scent. Most of you probably know what this already smells like, so I don't really have to go full in depth on it. Alright, so the next thing I have is this Merry Marshmallow Kiss. This is a triple moisture body cream. This one's really old, and I really didn't want to use this marshmallowy scent, this Christmas scent, during the winter, but it was nasty. It started to, the smell started to go off a little. Yeah, it just doesn't smell great and it was getting really yellow and you can tell obviously yeah i know i didn't cut it i just didn't really feel like it. i wanted to move on to something else i wanted to move on to the two that i have in my bucket right now this one right here that i'm using for the fall one i'm just trying to get gone the other is a fall scent so this is merry marshmallow kiss the notes are fluffy marshmallow gilded pear winter jasmine White Amber and Sparkling Bergamot. Really, really sweet. This is not Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. This is not um, Beach Night Summer Marshmallow. This is its own thing, and it's really freaking sweet. It might just be because it's gone off since it's so old, but I don't know. I really like this. If I can ever find it again, I will definitely purchase it again, given the chance. Okay. The next thing, I really should have cut this open, but whatever. This is the Coco Shea um, Ultra Conditioning Sugar Scrub. I love this. Uh, it's so good. I need to smell it first. <sighs> I'm so weird, I know. It smells really, really good. It smells like honey. It smells like fresh honey. This is super exfoliating. It made my skin feel so soft afterwards. It was, it was so nice. I absolutely love this thing. I... I'm going to purchase this again. I will even go full price on this bad boy because this is... I love this. So if I can find it, which I'm sure I can, I'm going to buy it again. Just wait. Just watch. Alright. So this next thing is afternoon apple picking and the gentle foaming hand soap. Um, I'm just going to give this a sniff, even though I know what it smells like. Mm, it smells so good. It doesn't like smell. It just smells like apples. The notes are crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. I guess it's it's honestly just apple. They're just trying to you know flatter themselves. It's not working. The packaging. I absolutely love it with the gold lettering here or the gold box with the lettering in, and then the um picture packaging i think that is so cute and i love this shade of red is my favorite shade of red so all right so i have one more body care item and then i have to go grab something because i forgot <laughs> this is a pocket bag in the scent rockstar this is super cool citrus this is a really really good scent it was really really strong it stayed on my hands the scent stayed it lasted for like an hour or more I would put some on and people would be like, oh my god, who sprayed something? And I'm just like, yo, get you some of this. Because this is at that level of really strong perfume that not everybody wants to smell. 
but yeah, you put it on, everyone's gonna smell it. And it was glittery, which I didn't really like, but honestly, I know some people have preference. I said I don't really like it, whoa. But honestly, I don't care that much. I guess I prefer the micro beads only because I don't like glitter very much. <laughs> but if I were handed, you know, hey, pick which one you like better, I, I they're both fine to me. So I'm going to go grab something. I will be right back. Now for the home fragrance portion. And I, I don't own this house. I'm just a kid, you know? I'm just, I don't, I'm not a mom or dad, I'm just one of the kids. But I'm telling you, I have this house smelling great. Really great. I am that person, I'm the backbone of this household. <laughs> and of course, my family loves that, but they they got lucky with me, I guess. So I used up two wallflowers. This one, okay, this one is, I lost the little tags. This is Waikiki Beach Coconut. I had this in the upstairs bathroom. This went really quick. This went in about a month. Usually they take me longer. Um, this scent lasted through and through. It was just super strong. It filled the whole upstairs. I had it in the bathroom. And it just, you could smell it always. It was so good. The perfect summer scent. Very coconutty with a hint of pineapple. I know pineapple is not one of the notes, but it, I really, I'm telling you, I smell that pineapple. Very, very prominent. The color was red. It was perfect for summer. I love this. This is a definite repurchase. I love this scent. This was a Waikiki Beach Coconut. This next one. Yeah, this was Mango Mai Tai. This one actually <clears throat> took me about a month and a half to use, and I actually just dumped it, <laughs> like, yesterday night. It had about uh, this much in there, but it just wasn't going. My diffuser just wouldn't use it up. I even bought a new one. So I, was just, I just gave up and just tipped it in my sink and let it kind of just spill out. So that's where it was. The scent on this thing lasted most of the time most of the time I would just put it I would, it was in my bathroom down here and I just kept it you know plugged in I would take it out and plug it back in you know oh don't mind the mess oops I'm just gonna cover that up um I would plug it back in and you know every day or so just to make sure that it's still on and working and just pushing through but this thing just wouldn't let up it was really strong about the first two weeks the next two weeks it was really iffy and then the last two three weeks i had it it was pretty good so um not a repurchase though unless i'm <laughs> really don't have anything else to buy okay now for candles i used up this tuscany candle in sweet pea quite obviously it tunneled really bad really bad but the wick just i, I couldn't light it anymore this was an awesome scent. I love it. I would consider repurchasing it in a bigger one that won't tunnel. But yeah, this thing just wouldn't agree with me at all. This is Sweet Pea by Tuscany Candle. And then I used up the Three Wick in... Oh man, it smells so bad. This is Cherry Snow Cone. This is really good. The packaging is so cute. I love the white lid. As you can see, though, the wax was fluorescent pink and now is just gray. We had a problem with soot. Not on the thing. Uh, a little bit got on, but hardly, and that was my fault. But I trimmed the wicks and they would just... I don't know what was happening, but it just started turning black. I didn't know what to do. I kept burning it and I got through it. It lasted me a really good time. It was an amazing scent i love this candle definitely will repurchase this given the chance don't know if i ever will but this is one of the best ones that i've ever smelled and then unfortunately for our last candle with no lid for some reason this is mint from i think this is white barn yes it is okay mint oh i don't like these bigger ones i feel like they just take less time to go through so, but I love the simplistic black packaging. It's very glossy, really nice. Um, the notes are, I didn't read your notes in the last one. Hold on. 
The notes for Cherry Snow Cone are Sweet Cherry Syrup, Vanilla Shaved Ice, and Hint of Lime. And then for this one, it is Peppermint, Spearmint, and Lavender. This was amazing. I'll probably not repurchase, though. It burned really, really nicely, but it didn't last that long. My, but to be fair, my mom had it burning constantly. But still, it took like four days to get through, and I, I feel like that's just for what she probably paid for it, which, you know, 13 bucks on a shirt, but still, I wouldn't, plus I'm not, like, I don't really like mint in home fragrance, I just don't feel as if it fits, so, yeah, <laughs> all right, so that is all I have for my empties, so I'll see you guys later, bye!